Hey guys, just want to share something really quick. Um, I'm trying to make a uh, chip guard for my bridge port, and this is a uh, treadmill tread. This is the continuing saga of me using stuff that I pulled off of the tre treadmill I took apart. Took it apart just to get the motor, but I keep finding uses for other stuff. Anyway, um, and uh, you know, I want to create. Uh, a rigid bar of some kind that I can attach somehow to the bridge port and that'll hold it. And just so it turns out, I had this scrap extrusion. This is from like a screen door. You can see the little finger knob there. Um, and what looks like it's going to work out okay, I was going to take this ridge off and then slit it and stuff the material down inside clamp it together with a screw. But actually, I mean, you know, this this uh, channel here is made for screen to go into and then you'd put the grommet, uh, you know, the long uh, uh, extruded rubber piece down in there. And you know, the screen's a lot thinner than this material, so it would actually double in, the grommet would go in and would hold. Um, I knew this wouldn't work that way. This material is very thick. But it actually looks like I will be able to make it work with something. I'm right now I just got a piece of zip tie. This is what I was holding this together with. But uh, you know, it's not very solid. Like if it lifts up like this, it would pull right out. But if it's got this weight coming down this way, it'll hold it pretty well. And I think I'm going to be able to put some um, wire, uh, uh, 12 gauge. Uh, you know, household wire you usually have some hanging around somewhere. I think that'll probably work uh, very well. But so, you know, if you're trying to do one of these things homemade, uh, recommend this kind of extrusion. So the other experiment I'll be trying once I uh, get this cut out uh, the way I want it is uh, on ways to mount it to the bridge port. And what I'm going to try, I don't know if it's going to work can't hurt to try those. Uh, some of these cheap little ne neobdymium, how do you pronounce them? No, it doesn't even tell you. Anyway, I picked up some of these in various places. You can get them now at like Home Depot. A little half of these came from there. I think it was like, you know, three bucks. And then I found some also at Harbor Freight, two or three bucks. So anyway, super strong. Uh, I've salvaged them out of hard drives before, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so what I'm hoping is to get away without drilling into my bridge port. I don't want to drill and tap holes to mount this thing. So we'll see how it all works out. Um, I've got plenty of this extrusion, so I'll cut some, you know, the size I need. Uh, figure out how I'm going to attach the magnets. Could be with uh, epoxy. Uh, might just try super glue to begin with. Who knows? Um, experiment with the length of this. We'll see how it all works out. So let's try. I've never been a big super glue user, but you know, if you ever watch that guy that, uh, oh gosh, he did all the movie set productions, and then he did that uh, show where they proved or disproved various hypotheses through spectacular experiments, usually involving demolition of some sort. This is the stuff for everything. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try just three magnets and see how well that holds. Oops. Maybe I'll put it a little bit. I'll go 
ahead and start cleaning the other one up while I'm letting that set up. See how nice and shiny it is compared to the other one? It's pretty strong. And we'll give it the test over at the mill. Alright, so this is where I'm hoping it'll mount. It's right up here. really don't want to drill this thing now. That's not in my game plan. Another thought I had is using, uh, oh, one of those magnetic tool racks. Screw that to the back of this. Those suckers are strong. So that might be my next step. Okay, trip to Harbor Freight made. Um, after the fail on the little, uh, Neob Dominium, the bit of bit these little guys. Those little guys. Um, ran out of Harbor Freight. These things are always on sale for five bucks, four ninety nine. They work great. I have them all over my shop, and I think this is going to do the job. Uh, pretty strong. So it's definitely going to work on the lower because I have a whole lot of surface to grab against. Um, up top where I only have that eight and a half inch strip and it's painted, uh, it holds pretty strongly, I should say. Um, but uh, we'll see. Now, honestly, to do it all over again, I don't know if I'd even bother messing with these extrusions. This is uh, 18 inches, so you could, uh, you know, put a piece of flat bar across here and just, you know, sandwich your material, whatever you have. You know, I have that treadmill material. You know, there's uh, there's that uh, rubber runner stuff that you can buy, you know, by the foot at the box stores. Uh, all kinds of stuff you could use, but. You know, you can just mount it directly to this. Um, since I've already gone to the trouble of cutting this extrusion, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mount it on here and roll. So I'm just going to use a couple screws and see how this works. Tapping. It's a beautiful thing. So goes up here. Like so yeah, it's only got that eight and a half inches to grab a hold of up there. It's pretty strong this way. It still has some slipping, slippiness to it. So I don't know. We shall see. I might have to resort to the James Kilroy <laughs> string around the top, which I was kind of trying to avoid because that kind of doesn't look good. But whatever. I am really certain it's going to work great down on the lower. But so by the way, those magnets. If you're wondering how I got them off after the super glue is on. They don't have a whole lot of shear strength. He said. Okay, there we go. Yeah, pop off that easy. Very thick stuff.
kind of like caulking a boat. There you go, what do you think? I'm cranking the vice back about as far as it goes here. It has a few more inches of travel. I don't know that I would be using it this far up too much. But just in case, I'm just checking. And, yeah. and bring it all the way back out. So far, so good. That's uh, the extent of the travel right there. Okay, so I just want to show how that mounts on the bottom. There's a big, broad area of uh, cast iron that uh, it's able to grab full 18 inches wide. So, I mean, it's strong, uh, strongly attached on the bottom, and that magnet <laughs> got me good. Uh, but I had to, one of the obstacles I had to get around was this. Um, uh, component to my uh, digital readout so that fits underneath and doesn't interfere the table moving in either direction um, it's pretty cool I'm, I'm pretty stoked this will uh, help me it'll definitely make cleanup go faster and uh, also reduce the possibility of chips getting stuck underneath of the table which is where you know the wear happens